Hey everyone, Chris Hoffman, KDK here. Uh, we're back along the Pennsylvania Turnpike. We actually have some new information from Pennsylvania State Police about that crash yesterday that killed five people, injured dozens more. Well, in their new release, they're painting a uh, more in-depth picture of what happened. They say that bus that was carrying all those people, it was in the left-hand lane, and it was coming down those uh, the winding hill there, hit the center median, which then caused it to veer right into the right-hand lane, up and over into the embankment on the far right side of the road. That then caused the bus to flip onto its side and then slide back down onto the roadway into that center median. Now, with all of that happening, state police say the driver, 58-year-old, Shuang Quing Fang was ejected from the car. Now, once that bus was on its side, a FedEx tractor trailer came around the turn. It then hit the, uh, the bus that was on its side, ejecting two more, uh, the passengers, 35-year-old Eileen Zellas area and nine-year-old uh, Jeremy Vasquez. And then, uh, well, the first UPS truck hit, that's the one that had 48-year-old Dennis Keller and 53-year-old Daniel Kepner, both of them also would become victims in this crash. Uh, a car would then hit the side of that UPS truck. Another UPS truck come, would come and pin that car between the two UPS trucks. Fortunately, no one in the car or the other UPS truck was injured, according to state police. So right now, they give us a little bit better picture of what happened. We know the NTSB is here. They're investigating. They're expected to talk to the media later as their investigators are starting to look at the evidence today. We're going to have a lot more coming up. So stay with us on air and online throughout the day on this developing story.